guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, it's supposed to be us, but Abby decided to go sit on the staircase, so we're just gonna roll with it because I just wanted to get this intro done at this point. So um, I decided to go ahead and make my own puppy cookie, Christmas cookie recipe to share with you guys. Um, I got inspiration off Pinterest and uh, kind of put my own twist on stuff. And this was the first time the recipe was tried out was on camera, so you all get to see um, how that turned out. I will say though that if you're going to do this at home, make sure to keep it in an airtight sealed container. If it is not sealed properly, they will not stay good very long. So we live and learn and we learned that lesson. So I'm definitely going to be keeping them. I noticed like I had them in two different containers, the one that was air tight sealed, sealed correctly, you know. Um, those lasted and they were fine, they were great. The ones that it wasn't sealed quite as nicely, they all spoiled within probably, I would say, five to seven, five to ten days probably. Um, so that's just my little tip. So with that, we're just going to hop right into the video and I hope you guys enjoy because you know what, it is always more fun to, you know, do Christmas or holiday season themed activities with our furry friends. They enjoy it and we enjoy it too for the most part. So I hope you guys love this video. Welcome to my kitchen, sweet friend. You can tell I already had quite a bit set up before I started filming just to make things easier on my body. So here I'm just grabbing about a cup of flour. I will have the recipe in the description for anybody who's interested, so don't worry about, you know, rating it down or anything like that. Next, I did about three-fourths cup of pumpkin. This did, just so you know, make a rather large batch, and we probably didn't need quite that many treats, but that's what we ended up with. And we're just going to add that right in with the flour. Then one third cup of peanut butter, which you know is every puppy's dream come true. I don't know about um, anybody else's dogs, but any dog that we've ever had has been a huge peanut butter fan. Yeah, that's a little bit, you know, more difficult and sticky to get into the bowl, but we did it. Next is simply just an egg. Then I decided to do a little bit less cinnamon than what my recipe had called for. Instead of doing half a teaspoon, I went ahead and did about a fourth a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And the cinnamon, you know, does add that like kind of 
Christmassy um, feel to the cookie or taste for, you know, them. They smelled really great, to be honest. And last but not least, I had a bag of mixers that were basically crumbs when I had gotten them. And I'll leave the link down below if you want that exact mixer. Um, and I went ahead and put, like you saw, a half a teaspoon of that into the mix. And I think that really did enhance the cookies for her. Okay, so all my ingredients are together, as you can see. And I'm using a KitchenAid mixer just to make things obviously a lot easier on me because this would be completely <laughs> exhausting to do by hand. It was already pretty exhausting if I'm completely honest with you. So I locked it and, you know, went ahead and turned it on. Took a little bit of time to get it going properly because it's been quite a while since I've used it. I didn't really time how long it took for everything like to mix up properly but I'm um, just you know keep an eye on it would be my recommendation you should be able to tell just like with human cookies when they're you know ready to go it was a little bit of trial and error at first I was trying to fill the silicone mat using as you see some spoons that didn't work out so we moved to plan B and I ended up needing to use my fingers which you know wasn't thrilled but it worked out thankfully as you can see here <laughs> that they are ready to go pop them in the oven at about 350 but I just like I'm gonna like do voiceover so I'm gonna mute out all the sound and then Thank you guys so very much for watching. Please let me know in the comments if you do any holiday themed activities with your fur friends and fur babies and what types of activities you enjoy doing. Have you ever baked for your dog or cat or other uh, four-legged friend? Uh, let me know in the comments. I love reading everything that you guys write. I know it takes me a little bit of time to respond, but I do try to respond to everybody and I read every single comment and I'm super thankful that you guys leave them for me. So please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below if you're not already subscribed and we'll see you soon. Bye!